Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for July, 2024. It is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're gonna get into your current energy, the near future, which you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on this month. And then we will clarify and get your Oracle cards. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, so let's get into it and see what the theme of July is gonna be for you. Okay, so it's Libra energy. Consideration, fairness, and harmony. Why do I feel like this might've been a card that you got before? Consideration, fairness, and harmony. Mm, I like that for you because I feel like things are balancing out. I think I just did a, when I did your next 10 days, I don't know if it was this card that came out, but there's something, no doubt. I know this, Libra is obviously about balancing the scales. But when I say fairness, I mean harmony and fairness that you deserve on a level that you haven't experienced. And I'm, I'm not trying to be dramatic, I'm being serious. Because it, a lot of you have put up with things being out of balance or people not taking you into consideration or things have felt really unfair. And I think July is gonna bring you a sense of just, I think it's for uh, not just all water signs, but water signs. So if you have other water placements, this could be doubly um, in effect, and I don't mean to look at the other readings, the other water sign readings, just saying there's something about water energy that feels super, might dare I say, easy this month because we all have, you know, our waves of ups and downs, but it just feels a lot better. Let's see what the tarot has to say. All right, so the overall energy, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. There's something about feeling either betrayed or stabbed in the back or taken advantage of or all those things that can be connected to that being in the upright. It's like it, there's just not that energy around you in the month of July. So if those people happen to show up or appear, they're not going to be effective this month. They're not going to have the same effect on you this month that they may have in the past. You're spotting things a lot quicker than maybe you have before. And I just don't think you're going to let anybody mess with your piece. All right. So the current energy, the Knight of Cups. Oh, okay. I just heard somebody fancies you. <laughs> oh, but you're going to be defensive. Okay. So the Knight of Cups, typically I'd say you're following through with the things that you love and you're taking your time and you're focused on that. But this feels like, and that could be true as well. This feels like somebody, I literally just heard somebody fancies you, but the Five of Swords it's like a part of you is kind of guarded and you're like, I don't care how sweet, kind, or loving you may come across. I am protecting the hell out of myself. I've been through that battle before and I don't want to do it again. So you're going to have to get through this barrier of protection I have created if you want to be anywhere near my life during this season of harmony that I'm going to be feeling. So I, I giggle because, I mean... There's nothing better than feeling like you can protect your energy without any kind of guilt or anything else associated with that. And sometimes you guys definitely open yourselves up to a point where people have the ability to do so. I, I think anybody's capable of that, but you guys especially will open yourself up and, and be available and loving and caring and people will obviously take advantage of that if they can, but mm, not this month. The world, this is, yeah, the tables are turning. That's usually the Wheel of Fortune saying, but in this case, the world, obviously, yes, one cycle is ending. So a smaller cycle, but to me, this feels like on a larger scale, something is really changing in your life and you're going to feel it significantly. Now, if this person comes into your life, it could change your world. It could change the trajectory, if I can get that word out properly, of your experience. I just feel something really big coming in. Something that you love is going to transpire. 
it feels like flow. I don't, I, I feel like I don't even need the cards right now. I feel like it's just channeling through and it, it's saying like, there's going to be a wave of ease that you feel like you just kind of float through and each day comes and you take each day and anything that wants to disrupt that piece <laughs> is not going to be able to exist. All right, so let's keep going. I've said enough about that. So we have the six of pentacles coming in. Um, somebody may need your help, and I don't think you're going to have a problem helping out. It doesn't have to be something exorbitant. It just feels like, well, I might have the means, maybe not much, but if they need help, they need help. Um, I just heard something about charity, giving to charity. Uh, the Eight of Swords is in reverse. Something in your energy is like feeling untied. So if you'd felt constricted mentally or otherwise, that's going to be released as well. And whatever needs to be done, you're going to do it. It's just not going to, it's not going to cause problems. It's not going to throw you off. You're being unchained in the near future. All right, let's keep going. Justice in reverse. <laughs> I don't know why I keep feeling all this weird, like spunky, giggly, almost snarky kind of energy. But the justice in reverse doesn't mean that you're not going to get justice in a situation. It's almost as if you're like, well, so what? If you're not balanced, I am. <laughs> Too bad for you. I keep wanting to giggle. All right, let's keep going and see what you don't see coming. We have the sun in reverse. I don't think that you're not going to be happy. Hold on. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so there is something that may not have brought joy to you anymore or isn't making you happy anymore that's connected to your work. That's not a bad thing. That can be, I just don't have the bandwidth to deal with this and it's creating too much instability. So you may be recognizing right now or in July, something connected to your work doesn't make you happy anymore, which is just a way of the universe coming in and saying, I want you to narrowly focus on this energy so that you can open yourself up to the possibilities that you may not have allowed yourself to open up to. And if you really take a look at this and where it's not bringing some kind of joy to your life and it's not feeding you in other ways, meaning it's not maybe financially as great as you'd like it to be, this is the time that you need to take a look at that. Because that means that there's something new coming in. You just don't see it yet. They're showing me the moon on the bottom of the deck. All right, so what does spirit want you to focus on? Three of cups is in reverse. And then the four of wands. Huh, that's interesting. Hold on, I want to get the third card. High priestess. Okay, so they want you to focus on anyone who might... Bear with me. Might be disruptive in your, either in your home life or just in things that bring you joy. Like if there are people who no matter what, when you get together with them, they've always got to be the, the people who stir the pot or they create problems. Again, this is about, I'm going to beat this to death, about your harmony this month and consideration. So there may be some people that need to be uninvited to the party. Okay, just remember I said that. I don't think that you have a problem with your intuition. I think there's just other people who are not enlightened and or don't know. I just heard something about etiquette. Don't have proper etiquette, are not necessarily spiritually aware, and they can create chaos. They don't let them. Just don't let them. Uninvite them to the party. Okay. Now, with the challenge, we have the magician in reverse. There's something around your belief system and your ability to create that may still feel a little bit challenged, probably because you're going through this feeling right here of, I don't really love what I do. Something's not making me happy in my work environment. How do I manifest my way out of this? Because maybe you've been manifesting this for a long time and you feel like it just hasn't gotten anywhere. This is a month where I feel like you're going to figure that out. Whatever that change is that needs to be made, you're going to figure it out. All right, so let's keep going because we need more information on that. All right, Seven of Swords. Nobody's going to be able to get to you. That's for sure. They aren't going to be able to get anything by you. Eight of Swords, again, twice in reverse, which is amazing because that, again, is you getting out of a trapped mindset or feeling bound 
by life in general. You're not going to be feeling that way this month. You're going to break free of that energy for sure. Queen of Swords, good. Ooh, are you going to be a truth teller? You're not going to hold back with anybody. This is like, I I don't care if I have to be mean. <laughs> I keep wanting to giggle. I, don't, I can't get rid of this giggle. It's like, you're going to giggle through things. Like, they're just not going to penetrate your energy the same way that they may have in the past. You're just like, no, I'm cutting right through the BS. I'm not, this is not happening. Here's the world again. Something about your world is starting to change. July is going to be a significant month where you start to see shifts that are more significant than they have been in the recent past. So the Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords with somebody that fancies you, you're going to get clarity on who this is. Somebody really likes you. You may already know about this, but wow, are you going to, you're going to hear something. You're going to know really clearly about who this is. All right. So the Five of Swords and then the world, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is specific to letting things kind of glide. You're moving forward. You're not doing it at a rapid pace. When certain cycles in our life change, it doesn't mean that, you know, we open our eyes in the morning and everything in our life appears different. It means that it's kind of slow and steady, but we're aware of it. You're conscious of the shift in the energy, which is what's important. So if things have felt a little bit slow, they're going to be consistent, but maybe not happening at a rapid speed. So if there's progress being made or here with the work situation, because I, I want to say that has something to do with that as well, it, it may be a slow process. You may be slow to burn and wanting to find a new job or what changes, the not having the knowledge of what changes need to be made in order for you to feel more fulfilled. You'll get clarity around that as well. Um, I just heard you're going to be standing up for yourself. Because the Knight of Cups also can indicate, like I said before, following something that you really love. If you're doing so and it feels really good to you, that's the best thing you can do in this new era. It isn't about just having to pound the pavement and do what you have to do to pay your bills. This is a time when the universe is really encouraging us to find the things that bring us the most joy. And money comes along with it, right? Different than we've ever experienced before. So open yourself up to some new ideas. Don't let yourself be closed down. Like I said, it's going to be a slow process, but still there's change coming. All right, as far as somebody needing some help, absolutely, I think you'll be available to them. <coughs> Excuse me. But don't let them take advantage. You, don't, you aren't obligated to anyone, ever. You're not obligated. If they bring some kind of toxic energy, they need to be told clearly. Like, I can help. But I'm not going to do this because I feel like I have to. I'm doing this because I want to. I'm not going to let you make me feel bad or guilty. The Eight of Swords energy would be I feel so confined by my thought processes that I can't see through this. I, I don't think somebody that, that's coming to you that needs help is toxic necessarily. But they may have, they could have codependency issues. Maybe they rely on you sometimes too much. And there could be a need to say, hey, look, it's one thing, and I'm not just talking about money. I'm talking about people who might lean on you as well. If they have this tie to you, and they do, you, this might be the time to set proper boundaries. I do think you'll help, but you have to be aware that just because you know how to do that doesn't mean somebody else knows how, meaning setting proper boundaries. You That's where the justice in reverse comes in, like somebody else doesn't know how to really give as much as they receive. So you recognize that. It doesn't mean you're going to pull back and not help. It just says they don't really know how to do that in return. So it could be an individual, it could be a group, like your work that takes advantage. Um, so it may still feel like things aren't really balanced out there, but you're in such a peaceful place that you'll help as much as you possibly can. You just are going to recognize the toxicity connected to that person's energy, meaning they are just not as evolved as you are. So they don't understand their own toxic ways. All right, let's keep going. Magician in reverse. <laughs> I just heard you can't manifest your way out of this situation if you wanted to. That person has no acknowledgement around this type of stuff. They don't believe in spirituality or manifesting. You're going to know who this is. 
right off the bat. And if they're not, they're just not. Not everybody is here to evolve in the way that those of you that are watching tarot are. Um, so you just have to recognize that about people and understand you can only do so much for somebody before you have to pull back your energy. You can give a little bit. But again, as long as it doesn't throw you off or you're not letting them interfere with your harmony of this month. All right, so what you don't see coming, the sun in reverse with the eight of pentacles, the hermit. Okay, this is so incredibly important because what he's doing is he's shining a light on a version of himself, right? The snake can represent definitely pointing out snakes in your circumstances, but it's more about you shedding an old version of yourself. So if you're feeling like, this just doesn't belong with me. Something about this doesn't feel right. It's because there's a part of you that is changing significantly. So you're shedding some old stuff that's probably needed to go for some time. And that's where the ball starts rolling is when you start to shed that, you start to see how the things around you don't work the same as they used to. Your tolerance level is lower. All right, let's keep going. And then we have the four of cups. Oh, interesting, because here you'd be taking a look at an offer. This is in reverse. If somebody's coming in, it's like you understand disingenuous people. And as much as they may seem to come in with some kind of love and support in a work situation, remember, that's what I'm talking about. I just, I think you're going to turn your back to it and say, you know, maybe in the past that might have worked with me but it's not going to now and I'm just not happy with it. Which is good because there's a part of you that feels like you're gonna be standing your ground. I don't, do I think you're gonna be straightforward with people? Yeah, the queen of swords. Cutting, not necessarily. I mean, sometimes, you know, we can all find ourselves having a bit of a sharp tongue. I don't think that's what this is. I just think there's just a part of you that feels what you feel. You feel what you feel and you're just not gonna allow people to offer just this little bit. It may have worked in the past. It's not going to work now. Okay. Three of cups with the four of cups, the person who's uninvited. Seven of cups is in reverse. There's not going to be any confusion about this. I'm sorry. I keep laughing because it, I just feel like instead of getting angry about it, you're probably going to be giggling and like you just cannot rock the boat here. Um, it doesn't matter how sour you are. You're not going to take away my, my happiness. This is such a lack of self-awareness that some of these people around you have is profound. And the, the greatest part about it is, is that you know it. And before it may have irritated you, but I just don't think it's going to. The four of wands with the high priestess in reverse. We have the six of wands. This is going to be, this is a feeling of set, success, meaning you're going to feel like you've overcome this in such a way where people used to be able to trigger you. They just don't anymore because you want you want solace so desperately this month that they just can't i'm gonna say it again i'll invite them to the party okay so the challenge with the magician in reverse we have justice in reverse okay so around your manifestations it's that feeling of i mean twice now you've gotten justice in reverse so that feeling of are things ever going to balance out for you absolutely so you may still feel like it's not quite where you want it to be, life, in general. I'm not, I guess we were talking about work and some people in your life. But that's just the challenge. It's the mindset. Like, am I ever going to get to manifest the things that I truly want? Yes. This is the beginning of that. When you start feeling that sense of peace come over you and things don't trigger you the way that they used to, that is kind of a universal um, message that things are starting to change because that means something's healed in you when you're not triggered by circumstances around you, people, things, work, whatever. Okay, next we're going to get some advice. Let's see what the advice is for you for this month. Okay, the chariot. I just heard no need to move fast because the chariot can be quick moving energy. The high priestess, just tune in. Your intuition is going to be off the charts this month anyway. You're going to feel things very strongly. This could be a lot more activities around meditation or just slowing down to allow yourself to receive what you need to receive. Sometimes we get so involved in life and we get going so much that 
even if we meditate, we're not getting fully what we need to, but when the timing's right, you'll get it. So they're just like, be open because you're going to get a lot of messages. The King of Swords, ooh, you're going to get a message about somebody who's been lying to you. They need you to be really aware of this. There's someone who just consistently does not tell you the truth. And the advice around the situation is really, really pay attention to this. If you've sort of pushed it aside before, don't do that this month. Um, the Eight of Swords, because that's what kept you trapped before. It's the way that other people have shown up or their inability to really be truthful, even though you felt it. Maybe you were entangled in those lies and wanted to believe them. And now they're like, no, if you allow yourself to fall back into this space, it will get you tied back up again mentally. So don't let that happen. Please, I, this is serious advice of not letting these people rein you in again. People, person. The Six of Swords, which is a good sign because it, this card represents getting to a much calmer space. And that's where you're going. So, and you're being led. Obviously, the crows are pulling this boat. She's going off to her peaceful place. You're not, you're not here wanting to get tied back down into a situation where you're mentally feeling like you're doing mental gymnastics, right? You don't want to be in that place. So they're like, if you don't allow this, you're going to get to a much better space. Your mind is going to be much more clear, but you really got to pay attention to what your intuition is telling you. Okay, let's see what we get with the lover's oracle. This could be connected to love or anything else. Let's just see. Okay, they want this one. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Okay, whatever that means. Don't rush into any situation this month. It's going to be important. Just let things unfold. We can't force them anyway. We think we can, but we can't. <coughs> Excuse me. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Usually that's just a kind of advice to take a step back and really absorb what's happening, like the good things that are happening in your life right now, and to let the tough stuff go because it isn't worth focusing on. Okay, and this one is, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So if there's anything that you've been carrying, I think this is just a reminder that that's what you're going to be doing this month. Not that you necessarily need to focus on, I have to let go of resentment around this one situation. I think you're just naturally going to be letting it go. That's why you feel such a sense of peace. <coughs> oh, it's a little dry cough. All right, let's get the wisdom of the oracle for you. I can't stop giggling about the uninviting them to the party thing. Okay, not for you. Hmm, interesting. That's good luck though, right? The fortune cookie. So when something isn't for you, it's obviously being removed from your experience or you're being made aware of it for a reason. Pay attention to the 6th of July or your birthday could be the 6th. And then serendipity. Okay, so recognizing that something's not for you is the most important thing you can do. And then right after that, they're giving you the serendipity. So that's the good luck that comes in. So if you're winding down from a position that doesn't make you happy or it's been happening for a really long time, something really great could come in. So pay attention to the 18th of July. Just remember I said it, something really good, luck could hit. You could hit a small jackpot on something if you gamble or win a $5 scratcher, <laughs> something of that sort. So do that. You never know. All right. And then soulmates, there's people in your life, I feel like, that are going to be connected to you forever. I think you know this. It doesn't necessarily feel to me like this is all about you finding that person that you're going to be connected to forever in romance, but whoever it may be for you, there is someone that is always going to be by your side. So just know they want to remind you of that. Okay, you could be 41, born on the 4th, the 1st, or the 5th, and then come to the edge. This is what they want you to do. I just heard dance. Like come to the edge and let yourself flow. Don't be afraid to step off that cliff and make changes or drastic choices. There's nothing to be afraid of. It could be 36, born on the 3rd, the 6th, or the 9th of the month. All right, last one. We're going to get your Australian Animal Oracle. All right, what do we have for Scorpio? If I can separate the card. 
All right, so we have the blue wren, 16. Ooh, lust. Okay, I told you somebody fancied you. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go after them. Okay, so the 16th could be your birthday, the first, sixth, sixth or the seventh. If I can get that out. Or that could also be a significant day. Maybe somebody comes up to you on the 16th of July and tells you what they're feeling about you. Okay, so we're going to do the blue wren. The message is... Blue Wren is a message of lust and promiscuity. This does not always have to be a negative situation in a relationship. If we remain honest with our partner and ourselves, however, Blue Wren encourages us to be aware of the fleeting motives we may have to stray from a monogamous partner, as it could result in a loss of detachment from self. This card asks you to, to consider your actions carefully and honor both yourself and those around you. Lust, temptation, promiscuity, third party. Just be cautious of that. Whatever that means for you. Okay, those were your messages. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I'm sending you a ton of love. I hope you have an amazing July. Again, oh, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. I so appreciate it. And if you'd like a personal reading, again, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I hope you guys do, again, have a great month and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.